Hi, my name is Kirtan Dodia. I'm a Senior Technical Account Manager at AWS. Today, I will demonstrate how you can leverage observability features from Amazon Open Search Service to gain deeper insight into your application and IT infrastructure's health and performance. In today's world of complex distributed systems and applications built on modern frameworks, understanding what's happening inside your application has never been more challenging. Often, when something goes wrong, teams struggle to correlate data available from different sources to find the root cause. And Amazon Open Search Service answers to these requirements through its dynamic dashboards and interactive notebooks. These tools enable you to visualize system behavior, to correlate different data related to observability, and collaborate on problem solving across teams. Let's see that in action. Let's quickly understand what makes this plugin so powerful. So the observability plugin is designed to help you analyze and visualize three key types of data or signal types. And those are logs, matrix, and traces. If we talk about logs, these are detailed record of events in your application. Logs give you the why part of the problem, providing the context when things go wrong. The second type are matrix. These are numerical measurement of your system's performance. Matrix help you understand what part of the problem, what was your system's behavior at a given point of time. Think of CPU utilization, memory consumption, request rates. They are a few of the examples of the matrix. And the third type of signals are traces. This track the journey of a request as it flows through different parts or layers of a distributed system. Traces show you the where, which services are involved, and how long each step takes. Together, this three type of data or three pillar forms a comprehensive and unified view of your application's performance and health. To make sense of all this data, you can use pipe processing language or PPL with Open Search Service. The PPL is a simple syntax language where different actions or commands are chained together using the pipe symbol and they're placed in a logical sequence. Let's see that in action. As you can see, I have already logged in into my Open Search dashboards. So at this point, I assume that you already know how to open and access your AWS account and how to provision a secure domain with Amazon Open Search Service. For today's demo, I will be using the sample data available with every Open Search installation. I will be using the sample web logs, which I have already installed in my Open Search dashboards. Now to execute the PPL query, click on the main menu on the top left corner, then click on logs in the observability section then click on Event Explorer. That should bring you to the page where you can write down your PPL query in the gray text box in the middle. For a demo, I will use a query that looks something like this. Let's quickly look at the structure of this query. The first action is relating the index from where I want to pick up the transaction. The second action is the filter where I'm picking up transaction on basis of certain value in the response field. The third action is aggregation on basis of the host name. And the last action is the sorting on basis of the error count. As you can see, all of these individual actions are joined together with the help of the pipe symbol. To execute this query, click on run. And the result will be available in the events tab below. You can also notice a text box above the one where I have written my PPL query and that text box belongs to the feature Query Assist. The Query Assist is capable to translate the query requirement written in nature language and generate relevant PPL query. Let's try that out. So the same requirement or use case, if I want to write in nature language, I will write something like this. Give me list of hosts with most errors in descending order. To generate the relevant PPL query and run the query, click on generate and run button. As you can see, it has replaced my manually written PPL query with a new one, where the only difference is the filter action where it is explicitly looking for transaction where the response field value starts with four or five. And if you look at the result, it is exactly same as what I received with my manually written PPL query. Now let's look at the observability dashboards. The observability dashboards in Open Search provide visibility into the health and performance of your system by visualizing different types of data. The primary purpose of these dashboards is to 
provide you a holistic understanding of your environment, monitor the KPIs that matters, and help you make data-driven decisions. Let me show you how to use the pre-built dashboards. Those are available with the open source installation so that you can start building your own. To install the sample dashboard, click on the main menu on the top left corner. Then click on the dashboards in the observability section. To add samples, click on the add samples button. Click on yes. And that should provision the sample dashboard for you. Let's take a look into the dashboard. As you can see, this dashboard includes many type of visualization that focuses on different KPIs. As an example, if you look at the first row, they all monitor the average RAM utilization by different operating system. The next one displays the daily error count. The next one focuses on different geographical locations related to the request count. And the last row displays the graph related to the tax as well as the consumption of average daily points. Like observability notebooks, the dashboards are also auto-saved. And to make it version control, you can create a duplicate of the dashboard. So let's try to add a visualization to the same dashboard by creating a new version of it. Right? So to create a duplicate, click on Dashboard Actions drop-down and select the duplicate dashboard. It will ask for a meaningful name. I will append it with V1 to indicate it as the version 1. Click on duplicate and it should create and load the new dashboard for you. To add the visualization, click on the add visualization drop down and select the option create new visualization. We can see that it has brought us to the logs explorer page where we executed our first PPL statement. To create the visualization, I will utilize the query assist feature. So to write down my requirement in the nature language, I will write it as calculate average bytes transferred between different geographical source and destination and show where the average is more than 10,000, right? So I want to create a heat map chart. So to start with, I will first click on generate and run that will create a PPL query for my requirement. And it will also create a vertical bar chart in the visualizations tab below. Now my requirement is a heat map chart. So I will change the chart type from vertical bar to the heat map. And as you can see, it is already having the source and destination as the X and Y axis. And it is also focusing on the data that is having value more than 10,000. So this is exactly as per my requirement. So I will go ahead and give a meaningful name to this panel first. Take my chart and I will scroll up all the way up to save the visualization. And I will give the name as traffic source destination. Okay. Click on save to save the visualization. And to incorporate that, I will click on the main menu, then click on the dashboards option under observability. Now I want to add a visualization in the V1 dashboard. So I will click on that and I will again click on add visualization drop down. And this time I will select the option select existing visualization. From the drop down of visualization name, I will select the one that I've just created. I will keep the time range as default and I will click on add button. If I scroll down to the dashboard, I see that my new visualization has been already incorporated. Now let me validate if the new visualization is also added in the original dashboard. Order. To check that, I will click on the dashboards option on the top. I will click on the web traffic panel, the original sample dashboard. And if I scroll down, I don't see the new visualization. That means to make the dashboard version control, leverage the duplicate functionality, create a duplicate of the original dashboard to incorporate the new changes. In this video, you have seen how to execute the PPL queries in open search dashboards. You have seen how to create observability dashboards to monitor different KPIs related to your IT system's performance. To learn more, check out the open search documentation and community forums. We have included all the relevant links in the description below. If you found this helpful, 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more technical content like this. And if you have any question or feedback for us, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Happy observing.